let's have an example here. Angular ba yan? Um, you can always define an angular momentum even if um, it seems that a particle doesn't rotate. For example, this example here. Um, find the angular momentum of a 2 kilogram rock with respect to some point O. Importante lang dito kung nasaan na po point yung, um, nasaan yung axis of rotation mo. Saan mo nila, with respect to what? That's an important idea in angular momentum. Treat the rock as a point particle. Okay. Questions. Uh, um, I'll show you the solution to this problem. Okay. Sige. Okay. So again, we have an, uh, a rock here with the mass 2 kilograms. M equals... 2.00 kilograms, and then uh, the velocity of that rock, or I should say the speed of that rock is about 12.0 meters per second, and it points in some direction given by the diagram here. The question now is what is the angular momentum of that particle? So R here is um, 8.00 meters. Again, R is just the distance from uh, from the axis of rotation towards the, part, the, the direction of the point particle. Ngayon, so the magnitude can be easily shown, can be easily obtained. It's just L is MVR sine phi. Ang question line, ano yung phi? Ano yung phi? So from this diagram here, what I can do is I can extend this. Remember how I how we calculate the the angle when we have uh when from the from the sa torque natin, di ba? Paano natin ginagawa? So ang gusto nating angle ay yung angle when I extend this lever arm here. Uh, and the angle of the, the force, kung ano yung angle between them, yun yung, yun yung direction of phi. Similarly, I can also define it that way. Kasi, uh, remember, from tail to tail, so I can extend this, and therefore, this should be my angle phi. Tama? Tama? Nakuha? Nakuha to? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, um, from here, uh, therefore, what is phi? Remember, if this is 36.9 degrees, what can we say about this angle here? We are assuming that this, um, the velocity vector and the ground is parallel to each other. Of course, the end is totoo. Pero we know that if these two vectors here are parallel, then this should also be 36.9 degrees. And therefore, phi is just the supplement of 36.9 degrees, which um, can obtain as 143.1 degrees. So this is 143.1 degrees. Tama ba? Tama ba? Tama di ba? Tama? Tama? Okay, please pocket check. And then after that, this is simply 2 kilograms. So I'll just substitute the values. 2 kilograms, 12.0 meters per second. Uh, and um, R is 8 meters. And then um, sine of um, 143.1 degrees. And from that, I can say that L is just, the magnitude of L is 100 15 kilogram meters squared per second. That's the, the units, uh, that's the magnitude of the angular momentum. Now the question is, what is the direction? What is the direction of this angular momentum? Remember, uh, you start with, for you to locate the particle, you start with point O, R, and then curl your fingers towards the direction of B, cross V or cross P in that case, and then the direction of the thumb is the direction of the angular momentum. Hence, R cross V is into the paper. Therefore, what can we say about the direction of the um, of this uh, of the angular momentum? Hence, what's the direction? Ano lang yan? Dapat? Negative P. Yes, it should be minus K hat. Uh, thus, the total angular momentum is what minus 115. Aha. Ulit. Um, this is minus 115 K hat kilogram meter squared per second. Okay? Malino ba tayo dito? Is this clear? Yes, sir. Clear ba to? Okay, I hope this is clear. 